Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I want to show you uh, my beautiful Mona Lisa over here, which I showed you another segment. I didn't do it, but I just showed you that I just started. So more or less I, I painted about this much still. There is a lot of work to do on this. The sceneries, the house, the clothes, the, uh, the arm, which is still I have to work on her lips, around the face, the neck, which I have plenty of work to do. Anyway, today what I wanted to show you that how to do um, uh, the, the veil, which you see that she's wearing a veil and you see in the back that uh, you see the background but the thing is the veil what it is it just that like you make the uh, line of the veil and of course you don't see it completely like the same color in the background so it, it she's wearing a little bit like a brownish color veil so it has to be a little bit covered so uh, it's a very easy technique is this that of course I'm doing by practicing too of course remember this is a it's a self-taught so anyway um what i wanted to show which this technique you can do on a, any kind of uh, things that you want to do it for example even like the hands that i put the um, the design the lightness the color of her hands which is not complete done still i have to do it but i was just trying to taste over here to see that uh, which i have a brown color which are very like i was saying to you that it's brownish you can see over here in the book it's like you can see through but it's not completely the same color as in the back so what it is what you have to do is which i told you in my other segments i was teaching you and showing you about the linset so you put a little bit linset on your color and you have always next to you have something little uh, I don't know another board another paper or whatever like always to try it to taste it see now that I'm painting this it's not making completely brown color like the way uh, let me get let's see like see if you paint I paint now it makes it uh, brown but when we mix a little bit lens it what it does is it's because it's like a kind of an oil what it does it's it doesn't make it like a concentrated color it makes it for you like light transparent so what we need on the paint we need light transparent to work with so of course even though if i do it just once if it doesn't work i have to keep trying it to get exact the color that i need so um and i want to teach you one thing another technique which you always have a little let me see now that i'm going to do the veil the the veil I want to show you that when you have um, lines that you have to do always make sure that you have a, a ruler in your hands and try not to touch of course your painting when it's wet and you put this way bring it so they can see it so when I have to do the line when I have to make the line it's really hard to do it without holding it and you can you know shake your hands and whatever but when you put any ruler any stick you can always rest your hands on it and you go slowly slowly and you can make the line which already I did it but this is only the technique that I'm showing you over here so you, this is how you make the your line the way you want it it's always nice to rest your hands otherwise I don't think I can able to do because without touching any place my hands resting I can't do the eye line or anything always put a little ruler on the table and resting on the canvas and try to do it that way so you can get as much um, how they call control on your on your painting even over here too that when I did it I tried to put it like this and go easy easy way to do it now that I'm gonna do the shadow again I think it's kind of nice for me to use it so I won't I won't get out from the lines or I won't shake it so I'm gonna just wear it and test it some and here i have to do the veil now you can see over here it's giving me a little bit color of the brown but i'm going to put just a little bit more because i need a little bit darker see now what it's doing it's like a little bit covering the the color of the background and let's see 
I have to make a little bit more darker. There you go. I still can see the background and I have a little bit color on it on top, on top of it. So what it's doing, it's making it transparent for me. It just takes time. Don't rush. If you want to do a good job, just take your time and little by little, you'll do it. See now when this one dries, it's going to show a little bit reflection from the back and from the front. So definitely you'll see that it's a, it's a shadow. So just make sure that you don't make it too, too dark. So we don't want to blend with her hair and think that that's part of the hair. This is, this is her veil. Make sure that it will be pretty light and that you want to see still the background. But when you mix it with, like I said, with the linseed, just make sure that you don't put too, too much linseed because you don't want later on your color to drip like a tears. So just make sure that your brush is a little bit kind of wet from linseed and the color together. I think even if you put uh, uh, what they call um, um, turpentine, uh, odorless turpentine, it will do the trick too. But I think doing it, it makes it more, more smoother for you. I think it can work both of them. Now, do you see over here how it's looking? Now, if I look, I can tell that she's wearing a veil. And it's kind of transparent. You can see the difference, uh, the separation from the hair to the veil. So, well, try this thing. You will love it. And any kind of colors, let's say that even though if you have to do like abstract color or things like that, let's say you have the background completely uh, yellow and you want to make it uh let's say green with the blue color you can mix it rinse it and you can you know blend it so you can see yellow and blue at the same time it's it's a technique that you have to try to mix the color together and to show however it looks now you see over here over here i don't need to do so well actually uh i have to open the colors over here to make it like lighter color so what i have to do i have to go back and color only one color much lighter what I have to do is lighter yellow and lighter whatever I put in the background. So when I do the veil, it will pop out and it will show that's the part of the veil, which it comes. Like I said, I have a lot of work to do on it. I just have to take time and do it by little, little by little. So this is one of the techniques that you can do it. So anyway, I hope you'll try it. And now I have to go later on, I have to do some of the sceneries. This is my beautiful Mona Lisa. It's a very hard painting, but I'm going to do, I'm, I'm doing it. And later on, I want to show you, uh, do you want to show closer? The way you see over here, her claws, the way it's like a needle point. It's an art, it's done it. I have to show you how to do this part, which is easy and it's beautiful work it is. And it makes it easier for you to do it. There is all kinds of techniques that you have to work with. And like I said, it's a self-taught. I hope you will try it and you will like it. Uh, enjoy the painting. Everybody should do it. This is very beautiful, relaxing art it is. The paint, the needlework, the gardening, uh, all kinds of things. After your work, when you come, you do those things, all your stress goes away. Don't sit in front of the TV all day and watch TV. Enjoy it. Bye-bye.